Hello, I'm Scott Griffin with Carlson Software. Today I'll be showing you how to take a Esri MXD file out of ArcMap into Carlson Sur PC for GIS users. If you look at this right now, I, I have Regional System 3 10b.mxd inside of ArcMap. That's what's loaded up right now. If I zoom into this in here, you'll see that, while well, it zooms in, that I've got fire hydrants, I've got storm drain, I've got potable water here, so, and I've got line work. And on the left side, inside of the uh, arc map, I've got all the different layers. So this actually came from a client. So what I'm going to do is exit out of this arc map program. Yes, let's go ahead and save whatever changes I've got there. Now, inside a SIR PC, and that's what you're looking at now, one of the first things I need to do um, is, and I want to show you this, if I go to the feature code list, there's nothing in there in my code list. Okay, so if I back out of that, the first thing I want to do is go to file job. We're going to bring up M ArcMap docs. We're going into MXD files, and there is the regional system 3 10b.mxd file. So I highlighted that, hit the check mark, and it's opening the ArcMap document. And it depends on the size of it, how long it'll open up. Most of the time it'll take, I don't know, 20 to 30 seconds to open up. So I'll go ahead and exit out of that. But now if I go to the feature code list, look at this. Now it's taken everything from the MXD file and it's like sewer manholes. If I pick on that and I pick the edit button, it's got my, my features in here as far as it is a point, edit features, there's an object, there's a shape, there's the facility ID number. This is going to ask questions to the person who's taken shots in the field that was already set up inside of the Esri MXD file. So now, I just wanted to show how it fills that out for you automatically. Uh, now let's go ahead and go to the world map. And when I look at this, you can see how I'm zoomed in to my last position that I was zoomed in inside of ArcMap. This is very easy to use. Uh, it's got all my data. Everything's colored in here. Uh, it is the easiest way for people doing GIS work to be able to work for, with the guy in the field back to the office. You don't have to have special software to translate it. You don't have to uh, worry about your accuracy because with the uh, Super G system or with the supervisor system, uh, you're going to be within a centimeter to a half an inch accuracy, which is great for you. Now, if I was actually going to take a shot here, let me go ahead and show you how that works. I'm in GPS simulation, so I'm going to go to survey and I'm going to go to store points. It says my geoid is, I'm not in the right location here, so... Hang on here. Let me do this real quick. You can see my area map. Uh, let me zoom into that area. So when I pick on one of the IDs, it brings up the information there. Uh, if I was in the region, it would actually zoom me right to it. If you can see, I can zoom here, but my region, I'm actually up in Tennessee right now. So that's why it's trying to show me up in the Tennessee area. So, But anyway, if I was in the real field out there, I would see the background map. Uh, and you'd be able to see everything working together. Well, this movie concludes what I wanted to show you as far as the um, Carlson Sir PC working directly with your MXD file and how simple and easy it is to take data from the office to the field and then back to the office. The only thing that you would do is you would send the database and the MXD file to the guy back in the office and he would be completed. Well, just let me know if you have any questions on anything. Again, my name is Scott Griffin. Thank you.